Did you know that tapping can help you make a decision? It can help you come to the right decision for you if you're confused over things or if you've got maybe a couple of options but you're just not sure which is the right one to choose. Tapping can help you make that decision because it can give you more clarity. So that's what the video is going to be about today. But before I jump into the topic, hi, I'm Sandra Inman, author of Tapping Into Abundance, using EFT, tapping and the law of attraction to change your mindset and turn your life around. And if you want to do just that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Tapping is so good for a lot of things. I really do love it. And it's one of the reasons why I work with people with and through tapping to help other people, of course, use tapping to change their lifestyle and to change mindset. And one of the things that I've found tapping has helped me with is being able to really understand what the right decision might be for me. Because when we're making decisions, we do have to, of course, think of all of the rational options and we do have to think ahead and we do have to have a line of sight about you know, how things can possibly work out in the future. And certainly as an adult with an adult brain, you're going to be looking into the future and need to look into the future to be able to make decisions and be discerning. But at the same time, you may have two options that are presented to you that you just don't know which one the right one is because you just can't really figure out what it might be. And it's not that you don't actually know. You do know. You always know what the right decision is for you. It just might be that you're afraid or that the decision that you do need to make is one that may bring up some limiting beliefs or it may be an action that you're just not really, you're not feeling safe about taking because it's going to bring um, some things up for you. And that's often the case when it comes to decision making. Because tapping helps calm the nervous system, it can help tune you into what your heart's desire is. So what it is that you're really wanting from a heart point of view. So when it comes to a decision that you're making, and maybe you've got a couple of options, a good place to start is to actually put your hand on your heart and think about the two options. And as you're thinking about those options, how does your body feel with each option? Your body will tell you what the right option is for you. You'll feel it in your body. It will feel joy, calm, even if it's scary. The option that isn't right for you is going to feel off in some way. It may make you laugh. It, you'll just know that when you put your hand on your heart and you're connecting with your heart chakra, that that may be a decision you're thinking of making because it's the right one. It's the one other people are advising you to take. It's the most logical decision to take. Uh, it might be the safest option. It may be the one that seems to have the least amount of risk. But when you put your hand on your heart, it may not actually be the one that's actually really right for you. And I'm talking about this as far as decision making is concerned, if you're using it in conjunction, of course, with common sense and rationality at the same time. Because I think it's important to have a balance of intuition as well as being able to be rational and have common sense about things as well. So it's not about just, oh, follow your heart and everything's going to work out because that's not always necessarily the case. And it may just be simply because you don't really know what the heart's wanting. Is it the ego masquerading as the heart or is it really the heart that's wanting it and why? And tapping can help you discern what these things are. Because sometimes a decision that you think you should make is really the ego wanting to make it. Maybe the ego gets something else out of it, but really your higher self is saying, no, this isn't the right decision. So once you put your hand on your heart, if you come up with a decision from just doing that, obviously you won't need to tap. But if it's still feeling, you're still feeling unsure about it or uneasy about it, or you, you just can't get anything out of it, there's too much fear or there's too much blocking you, then start tapping. And again, this is going to be a tapping rant. So tapping between the eyebrows is where you'll start. And you'll just have a rant to yourself. I don't know what to do. 
I don't know what the right decision is. So just tapping along with me, I forgot to tell you to do that. I don't know what to do. It scares me to make the wrong decision. What if I make the wrong decision? It scares me. I don't know what to choose. There's option A. Now when you're tapping on option A, I'll just stop there. Tap on what option A is. Rant about it. Talk about it. So if option A is to go and work for such and such a company, so maybe you've got two job options to choose from, then option A would be working for ABC company. If I work for them, it's a lot of money. It's definitely the best money option. I'll definitely be making more money there and I need that money. But I'm not sure I'm really going to like the work. But wow, the money. Yeah, the money. The money would be good. <laughs> then there's option B for XYZ company. Money's not as good. And I really need that money. But I think I might enjoy it more. I do definitely think it's more what I'd like to be doing. It's closer to home. So you're comparing the two options. And in comparing the two options while you're tapping, you're calming your nervous system down. You're calming the fear around it. So you'll know if you're making a decision based on fear or whether you're making the decision based on what it is that you're really wanting. Often when it comes to job decisions, a lot of it does revolve around money because that's generally the reason why we work is for money. So the money thing can be bringing up a lot of fear you know, not going for that higher income can be very frightening because to the ego, it's not safe. Whereas maybe going for something that doesn't pay as well, but maybe close to home or it's got other positive aspects to it may actually really be what you're really wanting. And as you're tapping, you may discover that your intuition and your thoughts could lead you down the road to other options or other ways of thinking. So you may be tapping on option B and discover that, well, even though this doesn't bring me a lot of money now, there may be other options that come up later in which you can earn more money doing that, or it may take you somewhere else where you can earn. The tapping will lead you down these other options of, of thinking, these, these other thought options, because not only will you, your nervous system be calmer so that you're able to make decisions away from fear, you'll also be opening up your antenna to receive more information from the universe and your higher self. Because when you're calm and collected, you're more in touch with your subconscious mind. You can also be more in touch with your higher intuitive self. So use your tapping, play with it, do a rant. That will help you make the right decision. And then when you feel you have come to the right decision for from tapping, you can do the old hand on the heart again and feel into your body to see what the right decision is. And if there's any fear still remaining about the decision that you've made, then tap through what that fear is and allow yourself to release that fear. I do a lot of tapping uh, in my book, Tapping Into Abundance. If you haven't got a copy, do download that from Amazon. You can get on Kindle or paperback. And if you wanna book a session with me, to get some clarity about where you're stuck and you are considering doing some tapping to help you move through something that's really blocking you at the moment, then do book a free clarity session with me. We'll get together, have a chat. I'll ask you lots of questions and you'll get to hear yourself thinking. 
and come up with probably your number one reason why you're stuck and then we can talk about uh, what you can do about that. The link to that is in the description field below this video as well as the link to the book. If you like the video hit the like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra Inman and I'll see you on the next video.